Is shaking hands after a game of magic good sportsmanship or just a pointless ritual? <music> Greetings, owners of fine luxury cardboard rectangles, and welcome to my video on sportsmanship and magic, handshake, saying good game, that sort of thing. Basically, there's a lot going on right now in terms of people talking about this, so I figure that I would weigh in with my thoughts. Now, some of you may already know at least some of what I think about this. If you have watched my old video, I Know Better Than You, it's a big, long video talking about a number of subjects, but this is one of them, and I've also touched on this here and there in asides in other videos, but I figure right now, just get it all out there. Since that seems to be the flavor of the day, I'll make a video on it, then everybody can come and go, everybody just makes the same. Yeah, it's just like if we all talked about ice cream and a new ice cream flavor came out, we'd be talking about that. That's how it works. So find something else to complain about, like maybe the fact that you can kind of maybe possibly hear the rain a little bit in the back. You can just find something new to wank about, all right? Show some show some good sportsmanship when it comes to complaining. Show me some variety. All right, so let's dive in here. When it comes to handshakes, first of all, I do not think these are necessary. In fact, they don't always necessitate good sportsmanship just through their usage. People sit there and go, I need to crush your hand. Or be, it's just on top of that, that's not even the biggest issue for me. Honestly, the biggest issue for me is how unclean the entire concept is. Now, I am not someone who runs around as a germ freak, all right? But game stores seem to be the places that I end up getting sick from the most, okay? You shake people's hands. What happens is a game ends and your opponent wants to shake your hand. And it's like, good, thanks for the game. And it's like, look, I had fun playing with you but I shouldn't have to touch your body now and get whatever disease is on your hand, on my hand now. I'm not gonna get up after every game and go and wash my hands after ever. Thanks for the game. Now I'm just gonna go and wash my hands to get your filth off of me. You've just been touching your deck. Do you ever wash your deck? Has anybody ever taken antiseptic wipes and wiped down the deck? I'm not saying your decks are all filthy, right? I'm my, mine certainly aren't, but they're not pristine clean either. I certainly am sitting there making sure, oh God, how clean is this? And there are some people who eat just dis I've got disgusting greasy fingers and they go and touch the cards I know they're gonna do it because they try and do it with my king cube and I'm like are you your goddamn mind like my standards aren't that high you can sit there have like you can smoke and hold the cards in your hand at the same time friggin your cigarette like three inches away from the cards or the sleeves I don't care but grease and I get it get out of here but that's a personal preference anyways I think for the whole spreading of disease things there's plenty of other ways to do it you can give a fist bump there's nothing wrong with wanting to share hey I thought we had a good game at the end of the game but I think that requiring the handshake and the sort of social pressure that comes along with it is absolutely absurd I think being a poor sport is really bad if you're one of those people who sits there at the end of the game and you're just like I have to either talk to you more about how I won and go on about it, or I have to go on about how I should have won. It's like, no, the person who was supposed to win won that game. That's how that works. It wasn't like you were supposed to win or you were going to win under the, you lost. That's how it works. Just suck it up. If you can't, if you can't like say something nice to your opponent and thank them for playing them, for playing you, I should say, at least don't be a knob and go on about how they shouldn't have won. Okay. So in terms of the phrase good game, I don't like that phrase most of the time. Literally, the only time you should be saying good game is when it was actually a good game. Did it go back and forth? Was it interactive? Did it feel like both people had an opportunity to win? Did you enjoy yourself? That's a good game. That's when you say good game. If you just raffle stomped me because I got one land and you just railroaded me and elbowed me, your instinct may be to say good game, but that's insulting because it wasn't a good game. It might've been a good game for you, just the same way that if you masturbated all over a stranger's chest, it felt great for you. But for that stranger, there was no joy. It was a waste of their time, all right? That's how that goes. So you need to be cognizant of the fact that it a good game matters to both people. It's totally cool afterwards to just say, hey, thanks for playing me, or it sucks that you got mana screwed, or whatever it is. But don't say good game. Oh my God, it just, it comes across as just, yay for me and fuck you. That's, that's my personal opinion on that. Yours may vary. We're all different. We all view different reactions from people differently. Basically, good game annoys me when somebody's like just basically crushed me. I mean, if somebody just wants to say good game when they've lost and just leave the table and that's all they want to say, the same way that people do in like a video game, which is like click that response because they feel like that's response protocol, that's fine. If that's how you get through it and that's just what you say at the end of a game when you're just like a good game if you've lost and you're just leaving. What I'm talking about is when you win, 
don't use the phrase good game unless it was a good game. If you want to say to your opponent it was a good game, let's say you're the guy who got mana screwed and you got one land or whatever and your opponent stomped you out. It's totally fine for you to say good game. You're not being rude to your opponent in that case because sure, they didn't get that level of interaction, but they didn't lose out. They're not feeling negatively about it. So I don't want you to misconstrue that to me saying never say good game unless the game was an epic swing fest. Just only only if you're the winner just have some this is about sportsmanship right which means actually thinking about good sportsmanship isn't follow ritual x this is what people seem to think good sportsmanship is you walk up you shake hands and you say good game no good sportsmanship is actually having the spirit that creates the concept that makes people want to go up and say good game thank you for playing me the actual i had a good game this felt like something okay that other thing it's artificial and if it if that's all you can do and otherwise you're going to throw a tantrum then by all means do that but it's artificial what you really need to have is a sense of good sportsmanship is being there to enjoy yourself but at the same time respecting the other person's experience that's what good sportsmanship really means guys it really generally always means the other person good sportsmanship's always about the other person it's not about you it's about how you're treating the other person are you being a cheat are you treating them with the respect are you saying basically thanks for playing this game with me which is what good game is supposed to be but if it's ill used it doesn't mean that anymore and if you spend four more seconds and think about the game you just played you can easily adjust that to something that's more meaningful to the person that you're playing against and that's true good sportsmanship if you say hey you know what this game was going great it's too bad in the third turn you got mana screwed out and for the rest of the game nothing really happened because something could have gone and i wanted to see what your deck could do you see how much you see how much better that feels than just like good game thanks it's just it's not it's not genuine really so just consider the other person on the other side for who and what they are they came out and sat down to the table to have the same kind of experience as you and really a game of magic if two people didn't matter for a game of magic everyone would be playing it alone or against some kind of ai or whatever right it's the it's the social interaction as well that helps to make magic so respect that respect these other people have lives and are trying to have the same kind of experience as you and understand you can have just as much fun losing i've lost tons of games where i've had a hell of a lot of fun too because it matters who you're playing and how the game is played as well so enough of this keep the positive outlook and everything if you want to have some fun just talking some trash on my other channel over on hatch we have a fun new video we just put up called kick tarted and it is making fun of an absolutely ridiculous kickstarter here's a clip yeah yeah because none of them would illustrate your bullshit point well enough we gotta find a really small bug with this fat fuck cat that i intentionally made a fat fuck by neglectfully miscaring for an animal yeah i got news for you if you have a fat cat it's because you're not a good fucking pet owner if it doesn't have a medical condition you're a piece of shit you overfeed your fucking cat stop abusing your cat you fucking dummy not, not me. all right well now that you've enjoyed that head on over there check the videos out thanks for coming by let me know what your concepts of sportsmanship are down in the comments and we'll see you later hi everyone together we are the sixth color of magic